Yo, what's good, guys? It's Beach. So, I'm coming back from a week break. Um, it wasn't by choice. My computer essentially was dead. Um, so, normally when I took vacations or anything, I would increase the day of Rocket League, even if I wasn't playing, because that was my choice. However, I've thought about it, and I think I'm just going to go up by one day, even though I missed a week, because I didn't get to play, and it wasn't my choice. My computer just had a really bad time. Um, we're just kind of getting back into it, uh, and I'm surprised we're actually GC3. We're doing really, really well. We're 1750 almost, which is low GC3, but nonetheless GC3. And that's even after the break, so we've done doing really well. We went 7 and 4 today on stream, but we stopped streaming to record. I'm going to go stream in a bit. So that's kind of that rant. Um, coaching, 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 coaching. I used somebody as a test sample to see, you know, how my coaching was, what they thought, kind of to get critiques and all of that. So I watched a replay of theirs, helps them out. That will be at the end of the video. If you guys want to see the progress that he made, it's definitely something worth checking out. Now, with that said, if you want coaching, I want you guys to comment down below coaching with a heart, but drop your Discord names as well. I'm going to be doing one or two giveaways each week. I will be recording it and posting it, and I will also do a progress at the end of a video, um, just so you guys can see. If you guys don't want to watch coaching and you just want to watch me play, I will put a progress at the end of the video. So seriously, stay to check that out, or just scroll. If you're like me, scroll to the end of the video. If you can't wait or if you don't want to watch the full video, it is actually very cool. I'm very, very happy with it. Um, today, we're going to be talking about challenging. Challenging challenges. Today, we're talking about challenges and how to challenge and what type of challenges there are. So let's just kind of get straight to it. The way I like to see it is there's three different types of challenges, okay? There is a dive challenge where you do this. You just throw yourself, okay. You throw yourself at the ball, you dodge through it, right? Say I'm going into somebody, we're getting 50 and I just dive. I either double jump or I dive into the challenge, right? And that can put you really out of position if you whiff. So there's dive challenges. The second challenge, and hold on, let's let's just go over it right now. Well, actually, we'll go over all three challenges, and then we'll go back. So there's dive challenge, there's drive challenge, which drive challenging is says essentially is if the ball is near you, and you want to challenge and not put yourself out of position, you just don't jump. You just go hit the ball, drive challenge. Last challenge is a fake challenge, okay? Fake challenge is an actually challenge, or you can fake challenge multiple times and then challenge. So let's go over when we do all of them, okay? Drive We'll just go over, we'll just go back over in order. If you want to dive challenge the ball, if you dodge through your challenge, this is like fundamental challenges. So this is pretty cookie cutter. Okay, you could probably just get a lot of MMR. I've had a lot of people being like, ah, oh, Beach, help me out. Like, how do I challenge? If you dive challenge like this through the ball and you whiff, it's so bad, okay? If you dive challenge past the ball and you lose the challenge or you whiff because you dove through the ball, it is so bad because your momentum is going the opposite way. Only, only, only dive challenge if you're confident in your challenge doing uh, well for your team, whether or not that's getting the ball to your teammate or for yourself. Obviously, you're gonna lose dive challenges and that's how the game just works, okay? You're gonna lose challenges and that's just that's just part of the game but learn from it right if you dive challenge without hesitating you can learn okay drive challenging is very very useful because you can challenge a ball that's on the ground while not having to jump okay so if i drive challenge i can just drive and head straight back to my net oftentimes if you drive challenge it's because a challenge needs to happen if you think to yourself hey someone needs to challenge the ball but you don't want to throw yourself out of the play and the ball is still on the ground just drive challenge just drive and what your intention is is to hit the ball and get ready to head straight back to net unless you know we are going to win that drive challenge and sometimes drive challenging is better than dive challenging even if you know you're going to win just because you keep full control of your car on the ground okay drive challenging very very good this is what you'll see a lot of high level players do you could probably substitute most of your dive challenges with drive challenges and climb very quickly because you're always going to be back almost always right and if you lose a drive challenge you might have wanted to dive that challenge especially if you're hitting the ball now fake challenging when do we fake challenge this is how i like to see it i like to fake challenge if i'm shadowing and the opponent has good control of the ball 
okay if they have good control if you force them to do something with a fake challenge you are now in control however fake challenge and please cover your net do not fake challenge and then come to me and be like oh my fake challenges never work because they always score if you fake challenge have the intention of covering your net okay because they might shoot they might flick have that net covered and you force them to shoot flick you block it it's just you force them to do something and, then, and at that point if you block it you're off deep you're not off defense but you're not in that shitty spot where they have full control okay but here's the other side is you can fake challenge if they have no control if you see your opponent panicking if you see them just boosting after the ball randomly or they're chasing after it if you fake challenge when they're panicking it'll force even more panic okay and then get ready to challenge if you fake challenge get ready to actually challenge or get ready for what you're waiting for them to do right if i fake challenge somebody shadowing i expect them to flick it or shoot it so i get ready to protect my net so those are the three types of challenges it's pretty simple and pretty straightforward there ain't much to it um if you feel like you took the right challenge and you still lost it here's my only thing think about a different angle to approach that challenge okay we're just gonna apply this into our three games we're gonna go three games here um see how it goes we're in, like I said, we're in GC3. Um, I am coming off a week break, so my mechanics are pretty rusty. Um, but yeah, drive challenge, dive challenge, and fake challenging. You'll, I want you guys to really focus on how little I dive challenge. A lot of players dive challenge at lower ranks because they think that's what makes them fast. Um, but in, in return, it kind of makes them slower because they're out of control. obviously with challenging the ball if that this is mostly in line if they have the ball on their car or they have control or it's near them if you can beat them to the ball on a regular challenge and you guys are racing to it just full speed through it like seriously don't hesitate just go through i talked about that a bit last video but that's obviously you're challenging the ball so i'll just go over that don't hesitate just go all right we're gonna do it let's see what we got here And if we lose all three games, we'll still be GC3, so... Obviously, that's not the goal. Bad place to cheat up. Why? Because he has to beat two. I push the pace there. I drive challenge. Fake the demo. I'll be back. Why? Because I didn't dive challenge. Okay? That's a fake challenge by my teammate. Forces them to do something early. Like I said, I'm going to apologize in advance for my mechanics and everything just being a bit rusty. However, that was an open net, so that's pretty potato to miss. I'm just going to sweep the floor through, fake the demo Y, so they jump. Now they both jump, and I can go early. I dive challenge there because I'm confident that I'll get the touch. Does it go well for us? Mm, kind of. I say kind of Y because they don't have a direct attack, but we don't get the ball out of it. What do I do? I fake challenge. Why? Well, so he hits it around me, and I'll be back. I wouldn't even consider that a drive challenge, right? My intention wasn't to hit the ball. It was just to force him to go away from me. Obviously, I have to hit the ball. Probably clearing it that far away wasn't the smartest. Teammate's backboard. I'm here. It's in. Good job. Okay, we should be up one. We should not be down. I'm just open. Like I said, I'm playing in GC3. I've gone up three games playing like this, missing open nets and shit. You're gonna be like, oh, you suck, but this is also just to show you how important fundamentals are on the game. I want to make sure I beat him, because if he shoots, I'm there. He's in a 1v1. If you got a bump, I would have dove. That's a drive challenge. Teammate can chow here. I'll go. I dive that. I have to dive that, because if I don't, he could get it on that, right? I'm covering the net at that point. At that point, it doesn't matter what I do. I have to cover the net. Nice little touch by us. Teammates got boost and ball. I will demo pressure. Force him on the backboard. Fake challenge there. Why? It forces him to shoot. He, right, he has control there, but since I faked, what does he do? He shoots because he thinks, ah, oh, I can shoot this if he challenges, which is right, but I didn't challenge. Why do I dive there? It's to force them around me, right? Because I'm covering net at that point. If I can cover net and just have them... If I can force them to shoot it around me and have an awkward touch I'll be back in time on, then diving is fine. Right? Um, alright. Miscommunication. 
if I can dive the ball and have them f and, and get back in time because I dove it, like that's fine too. I go backboard here and come down. Bad flick. Like I said. Okay. GC3, by the way. So look at this. Could you save this? Ask yourself, could you save this ball? Yes. Very easily. That's called a wifty wifty, though. Good shit by us. Cool. I potatoed the flick. Tough stuff. Good reaction times for them. That's a very fast reaction time by him. Bro is just ready. Nice shot. It's all good. We follow now. Let's see what we got. Couldn't get the demo. I just back up. Fake challenge. Why? So he shoots. Okay. See, if I'm normally playing the game, instead of coming off a week break, I save that pretty easily. Notice how I, I did everything right. I just mechanically did it wrong. I still would say that was the correct play because I normally would get that save pretty easily. I forced him to shoot at me and I could take it across. My teammate thankfully jumped with me, which normally you would say that's a really bad thing. However, just get there. I'm just going to go backboard. Force him to stay low. Why? So my teammate gets to go. Nice clear block. You block my clear. Well played. I'm in that here. Teammate's gonna dive this. They fake challenge. See how that works? Fake challenges. Because my teammate doesn't have full control. Why don't I rotate back? Because I know my teammate has a decent touch off of this. And it's too far away for them to get. So we get a free ball. Let's see what we got here. The opponent, did it. they're going to try to get it back to the corner, so I'm going to go opposite side. Almost get that in that. Teammate takes that boost, sure. Good bump. I go up right away. Why? Have to have full confidence. But I suck. That's uh, worse. <laughs> Again, we're rusty, is what it is. That's a very bad touch. Oh, let's stay in the play, I guess. Good dive by them. I just drive. It doesn't throw me out of the play. Obviously, I could have played that better if I hit the ball. Like I said, my mechanics pretty pretty damn rusty. That's fine. I just get boost. Teammate should have a beat. It's okay. I'm just going to clear it. And then play his touch. Get this middle. Teammates all the way back there. Drive. Or you dove that. Right. Fine. Sure. Yes! <laughs> Derusting is always fun. Okay. Here's the final thing here. We're going to go over kickoffs in a video or two. Always, always watch that second man. Watch this Spanish kickoff that they're going to do for the win. You ready? No, never mind. He follows. Just kidding. I don't fall for it, right? I hit the ball so I can get in front of the ball to demo. Good Spanish kickoff, right? They did really well. They're not happy. <laughs> That's the second part. Is I obviously got a weird looking kickoff. The reason I did that is so I can get in front of the ball. What was different about his dodge, right? Someone would be like, ah, that looks pretty normal to me. He dodged not with his speed flip. Every player is so obsessed with speed flipping like this behind kickoff he went like this which tells me it's spanish cool challenges is the main point of this video sorry ran random rant because I, I knew it was coming i knew i know i knew here's my thing okay challenges are, are so important okay oftentimes i did the correct challenge right now i just did it wrong because I'm, I'm recovering on mechanics right i'm probably mechanically like I don't know, C C2, C3, like a mechanical C2, C3. So let's just say a GC1. But I'm playing a GC3, so I'm a lot less mechanical than these players right now. Okay, it's... Hmm. How do I say this? Do the right thing, and it'll come to you. If you keep doing the wrong thing, though, like, fundamentally, play that game right, and that's why you won. That's just, it's just that simple. 
So, good challenges. We'll go over these this game too. The opponents had really good challenges too, so that's why the game sucked. Oh, that's a weird one. 84 ping. For me and my teammate. That's brutal. Go for that boost. This might be a rough game because the uh, server is not great. I dive challenge that. Why? Because I know I get a clean beat. Power shooting. Overpowered. Still a bad shot. It's a really bad shot. I'm going to drive challenge. Why? Because it forces him to hit it in the air. Right? Because if he comes to the ground, I'm there. Fake chow. Why? So they hit it. Look at how I don't dive at all here. And what do they do? They just kind of hand us the ball. My teammate got a pretty questionable play there. Nonetheless, we're still counterattacking. Fake challenge. Why? So he hits it awkwardly. Can he play that easily? Uh, it doesn't look like it. All right. Then I actually chow. And what does my actual chow do? It forces them to back up there. I dive through that. Why? Because I trust myself. Open that. It's a hard shot, though. That was the first ball that I dove. That was a little bit questionable, but I'm still back. Even though I dove. That was an open that missed by me. I missed the ball. I was trying to pop that out for my teammate. Notice how I'm always back. Think about how to always be back when you challenge. If you can be back with the dive challenge, then sure. Just play this slow. He's going to dive this, right? No, it's a drive challenge, which is smart. Why? Because he doesn't overcommit and throw himself into our backboard. See how he's back now, too? We'll go into corner wall here. I drive challenge. Sure. Because if he stays on the ground, it's a free drive challenge. If I dive that, I don't know what the fuck's going to happen. And a lot of players will dive challenge not knowing what the outcome's going to be from it. That's a really good play by him, right? See how I dive challenge? What am I out of position? I'm out of position. My teammate then dive challenges, which is also not a good play. We both made really bad plays. What did he do? Very well. He just baited us to dive challenge, right? So that's obviously a really good play by them, but obviously a really bad play by us. I'll go stay around here, actually. Man, this server sucks. <laughs> this one's brutal. I don't need to challenge this until now. And it's off. Counterattacking fundamentals or not. You can go for that. I'll shoot top left. You know what? I'll shoot bottom left, and since I shot actually low, it works. <laughs> since I actually shot low, and he was going for a squishy, it worked. It just works itself out. <laughs> if it was top left, it'd be an easier save. Good work, guys. All right, tied. He confidently goes for that boost. I didn't get a great play. It's a dive challenge by both of us. And it goes pretty even, so not terrible. I'll be back there, right? I'm, also, I'm still here to play. He dive challenges something that's incredibly greedy. At that point, I'm not going because it's not a uh, counter attack anymore. It's just me being out of position because he went a little bit slower than he should have. Again, my... I apologize because you guys probably think I'm like terrible, which I am right now. My, my mechanics are atrocious. That is such an easy save that it's like, that looks like a C1 saving the ball. Like I said, I'm, I'm looking at C1 mechanics right now. I'll fake chow this. Why? So he hits it. Backboard is the safest place to go. 50 low. Dive through that because I have to, right? Protecting that. Go over both of them and pinch it in. Nice. So I go from just bronze mechanics to pretty decent mech. Nonetheless, still looking like a potato. All right, let's get him. I can play boost here. Teammate dove. Actually kind of works itself out. 
That's a fucking... I want to call it 87. 87. 93 is crazy. <laughs> what caused us to get a goal there? That teammate on the sidewall on orange team that put his teammate in last last man spot awkwardly dove to the ball when he didn't need to i'll fake child that just them seeing the side of your car is enough to count as a fake child drive child why so if he stays on the ground i get a free challenge beautiful clear cool so me i essentially am just drive challenging there so they have to go above me, right? If I dive challenge, it's just, they might do the same thing, right? But I'll be out of position rather than just driving at them. They did the same thing they did before, so it's a standard kickoff. Not a terrible kickoff, but I know this server is struggling for me and my teammates. So I don't really mind him going back there, even though it's a win. Try to get this middle. Okay, well, I did get it middle, and I think I put it in our net because of that. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> That's kind of just more of a pass than anything. Did I have the angle? Sure. Was it worth it? <laughs> no. <laughs> Good try. I read the Spanish. How? Because I still get bumped out. Again, learn to read shit. What's this guy doing? He's sitting in the back of the net. If my teammate's just watching that player, it's so free. I didn't think they'd still shoot it. That's my bad. I wasn't paying attention because I was kind of ranting about that. I was ranting about the problem that I just caused. That should have been a goal for me. Obviously, that Spanish is a bit harder to read. Because why? Because I think they're going to go back left. I should have still tried to force it the opposite side. Nonetheless, it's still pretty pretty, pretty dumb that I didn't read it. He wants it back corner, so he just don't want to go corner. I think we lose this game because of that. Yeah. That's my bad. GG. That's okay. I'm fine losing games like this. Think about how we lost that game. I think we played the game relatively well. It's a stupid loss, to be honest. Like, this game's a pretty easy win if we just fundamentally play the game through. We did. Honestly, I got scored on, I think, once or twice. So, we... I mean, the, the goals that they had were just, like, us being stupid. I went for a double tap. They, they full-fielded the goal. I went for... They went for a Spanish, and I went for a back corner boost. It's just stuff like that. I forced him to flick and then I wasn't covering the net because I wasn't mechanically ready. Like, just stuff like that. No reason to be upset. Why dive? Because I have to. I have to dive for it to go well for us. Obviously, I'm in the air, so it has to be a dive challenge. It's an air dribble bump. Nice shot by us. Good task by my teammate. Hit him with the cringe always does work. Nice. Cool. That's kind of a dumb loss by us in the last game. It's an annoying one for sure. Where are they trying to go? Back fucking left. Do I get it there? Yes. I tried to stop it, but like I said, my mechanics aren't allowing myself to do greatness right now. Because I'm coming off a break, unfortunately. I think I missed that one too. No. Nice shot, guys. What does my teammate do really well there? He's drive challenging. I think that's a lot of people, people don't realize how much he's doing there. He's sitting under the ball so they can't come to the ground and then back into the air with momentum. They are forced to shoot the ball because he's sitting there, which makes my job so much easier. I fake challenge here, why? So he does that. Drive challenge so he can't come to the ground. That's an insane pinch and all right. A little unlucky, nice shot though. My bad. I could have jumped up there. Yeah, that's a bit insane. Hits it into the sidewall. Just gives it off his back tire to put it in our net. Nice shot by him. I got outplayed. We can't be too upset about that, right? Getting outplayed, you can't be upset. I have to wait for my teammate. He dives. I respect that a lot. I can't dive, though, because I'm last. I got to touch the shoot. Whew. It's a close one. It's not in the best spot for it. Drive challenge. Why? It forces him to hit it. Right? He has to reset or he goes straight to me. So what does he do? He resets it. Right to my teammate. Teammate takes a questionable chow. I'm going to take a dive challenge. Drive challenge, right? Teammate dives. Does it work for us? Not really. 
I can sit them out of it. I can't go. I don't feel comfortable going there. My teammate can stay on it. Could we have gotten a goal there? Yeah, sure, but I didn't feel comfortable doing so. Middle. If teammate doesn't dive and he drives there, he'll be back in time to affect the ball. It's a blessing and a curse when your mechanics are just ass. When you get to the rank where everyone's like, yeah, he scores these resets every time and you can't hit the ball, it just works wonders. It seriously does. I'm at the point where they're probably used to playing GC3s and SSLs consistently and it's just like, yeah, he hits these, trust. And then you do shit like that, just like I said, it works wonders. I go behind my teammate. Notice how he's pretty much drive challenging until the point that he has a good challenge. He's adapting. That's a dive challenge, but he can't get back to the ball. Dive challenge by me. A questionable dive challenge for sure. Nice dive by my teammate. A lot of the times on goal lines, you're just gonna have to dive. I'm just gonna drive challenge because it forces him to flick. I get the demo, especially when they're dribbling. A drive challenge is pretty strong. Please hit the ball. I dive to keep the momentum up. Bad touch, really bad touch because they can control it, right? What am I doing here? Drive challenging, why? So they hit the ball to my teammate. I saw him getting close. Go backboard again. Force him to use his reset by diving. A lot of the times in the air, diving is obviously just the thing you're gonna have to do. Good dive challenge by my teammate. I think I have some time here. I'll just drive challenge. I don't want to dive. Teammate's got to go. He dives when he doesn't have full control of the situation. I fake challenge this. Why? So he does that. Fake this one. What a save though. Gotta give credit where credit's due. We forced him to do shit and put him in a weird spot. He still outplayed it. Teammate's got a free ball. He fake challenges me. What does that force me to do? It forces me to hit the ball where I think he's going to go. I dive here to pinch. He dives. I drive. I pretty much had no point or no choice to, other than just drive there. They both dive. Fake here, why? So he just uses all his boost. Now what's he gonna do? He's gonna outplay me. My, do my teammate dove challenge and had no urgency of ro rotating either. So that bump works wonders. If my teammate had any sense of urgency of getting back after his dive challenge, it's fine for us. He goes for the boost and the ball. Nice touch. Unfortunately, teammate lobs that middle. Not a good enough flick. Oh, just barely enough. I hate this rank so much. But yeah, so that's my thing there is like, there, what, what am I doing? I'm watching second man. My teammate gets to just slam it home. Ooh, fake challenge here. Why? So he jumps. I'm drive challenging. Why? So he boosts through and I'm still there, right? See how that drive challenge didn't put me out of position and actually got us a goal? Or not that got us a goal, it stopped them from scoring a goal. We both dive because there's 10 seconds left and we're up to. That's called like overtime brain slash last second brain. Dive challenge, why? Same thing. Last second. GG's. Cool. So that's our three games. Here's. Bro, get me the fuck out of here. <laughs> Look at this. I <laughs> I don't know how to say this any differently. My mechanics do not fit this rank right now. Right now. Normally, yes. Right now, no. We played just fundamental Rocket League and smart challenges. <laughs> so as you see, 
nine i wouldn't say 90 i would say 70 percent of my challenges are drive challenges don't throw yourself out of the play okay please 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 take anything away do not throw yourself out of the play second point dive challenge if you're confident just go just challenge seriously just challenge right if you're confident that you're gonna win it dive you're gonna have to dive you seriously are fake challenges are crucial too they're all crucial if you use them at the right time i'm telling you how to use them at the right time now that's kind of your cookie cutter obviously there's gonna be different situations you're gonna have to learn the angles to take these specific challenges but that's about it seriously that's about it we did great seriously we did well pat ourselves on the back considering we had we struggled with that said that's the video if you have questions comment if you need questions or if you whatever the fuck do anything comment on my fucking youtube come to my discord ask me questions in my discord pm me on discord i don't care my private messages are open i've had so many people message me and i appreciate everyone reaching out uh for two reasons one i like helping people and two i like seeing where i can improve myself in terms of clarity right cool so that's this video challenges really really important i hope you guys stayed here and if you did it really helps the algorithm in a second i'm gonna show you guys kind of my follow-up with the person that i coached let me know what you guys think um about the coaching i will do a coaching video i won't whatever you guys want to do the follow-ups whatever peace want to do is i just kind of want to go over the, the things that we highlighted uh -huh. like i said normally i would actually at this point like i've kind of decided myself too i would just make a video out of it um we're just gonna go kind of like over an update so you started point one is if you hit the ball while moving fast and under control do so how do you feel like you did with that how um, do you feel with yeah. that one i my speed definitely improved so probably pretty well okay efficient pathing make sure you're rotating back and getting pads even if you're on offense getting ready for another play yeah uh my boost management got way better as well okay just because you're like you're pathing and understanding where to go right always try to hit the ball away from your opponent when the opponent is diving or from the opponent that's diving so um, yeah. my, my issue with that one is that they decided that or it feels like they decided to go into where i was hitting it away from them <laughs> so yeah well that kind of goes in with the first point as well as if you slow down to hit it a different direction they oftentimes will say hey this guy's slowing down to hit it a different direction and then take a different angle of okay. approach so that's kind of just like that um like i said it would be nice to be able to go over if you want to give me a replay and that shit that i'd totally do that without even making content out of it but um so you can go over there but that kind of just falls in line with that one if you take too long they're going to kind of just know what you're doing kind of falls in line with the hesitation mm -hmm. aspect use your right stick on down time to gain awareness was this <laughs> used i laugh because i never of, used it okay a lot <laughs> a lot a lot of people don't it's like i said it's a little bit of situational awareness and i say a lot of people meaning like i've watched replays of like ssls and like gc3 like crazy lobbies and like nobody using it i'm like huh am i the only one using this but that's yeah i used it for like one um one game and then i was like uh-uh <laughs> yeah it feels weird it's yeah it's awkward that's just... <laughs> number five calmness is deadly is second man always think about buying time for your teammate to get back how do you think this went especially solo queuing um it got way better con considering my defense definitely improved quite a lot good okay um keep I keep going sorry I, I will say that a lot of the times they just never came back <laughs> <laughs> it's like you're on an island yeah yeah um yeah so that's like the biggest thing is like if you're able to sit there and like survive on that island by yourself for like two shots or like two challenges you'll like climb so quickly because at that point when you start playing with good players that'll get back it's just like oh wait they're just here and you'll like have just like this influx of time and boost right. <laughs> um but cool yeah that's probably one of the reasons why i just shot through c2 just it was just a thing of the past <laughs> yeah exactly it's just like okay you're used to like people never being there and then like you finally have somebody that's there for you and you're like wait wait a minute there's light yeah. at the end of the tunnel <laughs> <laughs> second man's job is covering first man's weakness oftentimes in it so i remember you struggling a little bit with this just cheating up preemptively how did you feel like that went over the week i definitely do occasionally but not as often okay um but it's gotten better cool 
Seven, pre do not predetermine decisions. This is a hard habit to break. What do we th what do we think? That one would probably need to be go gone over again because I don't really fully understand that one. I don't think. Okay. Yeah. Um, Fair. Um. Yeah. Like I said, we'll, we'll I'll uh, finish it off with another replay review and see what we're looking at differently, especially since uh, that's something that can be fixed pretty easily if it's like something that's made aware of. So we'll go over that, and then make sure your counter attacks oh. become advantages. Two v ones, I said I two v ones. I don't know why I put ECT or whatever the fuck. But your choices, <laughs> if you are off wall, are almost always either demo last minute or get ready for your teammate's advantage, which is the ball coming out of the middle. How do you feel like your? I mean, if yeah, I, how do you feel like that went for you? Um, it definitely went well. Um, I definitely started demoing last minute. I started to notice whenever there was an overcommit as well which is huge yeah i didn't really talk to you about noticing an overcommit because you would start cheating up you would just kind of then back off because you didn't have like that full confidence whether or not it was yourself or your teammate but you you, uh, you recognized advantages really well you just didn't take advantage of those advantages right cool and then, and then i i feel like my biggest issue was boost at that point so I would always go back for boost as soon as they overcommit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You'd be like, okay, well now I have downtime. Rather than just being like, all right, like let's just get a goal. And like, that's the difference is, is like you're comfortable getting boost. Like getting boost is really comforting for people, versus mm -hmm. like pushing that pace and cheating up the field, going for a demo, going for a pass. It's like this is a little bit uncomfortable, so they don't do it. But, yeah, I still catch myself off guard. Or like, I, I still catch myself going back just, um, just for the hell of it, but. <laughs> yeah i do that i still do that but it sounds like you're kind of in the same boat where i am where it's like wait i shouldn't be doing this right now <laughs> um cool so you started what was your starting rank it was c1 div what correct c1 div 3 c1 div 2 somewhere around there <laughs> okay and your finishing rank was c3 div 1 or did you get to div 2 um, I stopped as soon as I hit C3 because I was tired. <laughs> that is totally fair. So you went from, yeah. you went up essentially two ranks, two ranks in a week. So I would say that's a pretty good, pretty big success, obviously. I, I think with climbing that quickly, it's not so much a matter of not being able to hit GC, because I know that was your goal, okay. or our goal that we set for you. And I don't, I don't think that's not... I don't think it didn't happen because it wasn't possible. I think it just, if I gave you two weeks rather than a week, you would probably be able to slam that. Right. So we will do like a replay review in a day or two. I want you to get me a replay of you in C3. Okay. But it sounds like, yeah, like I said, you were sending me your progression through all of it, which is huge. I, I don't mean, know if you ever looked at the graph, though. Um, the graph, basically, all, it's, all it shows is that C2... Um, you're so at the end of this graph. week, yeah. I I'm um, gonna be honest. I didn't not. I didn't really look at it. It's an interesting looking graph there, Alpha. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> it looks but like you I got don't... boosted. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. So that's. <laughs> that's an yeah. Inch. That's what, that's what I meant by whenever I said that C two was just. Gone. I mean, gone. yeah, even like C1, yeah, C1 Div 2, Div 3 as you started, and you just shot up too. Right. Um, yeah, that's an interesting looking graph to say the least. I mean, and like, it's not a bad thing, it's just like, it looks like you got boosted, even though you were just playing the way you yeah. should be. Dad, any any questions, anything for me before I head out? Um, We've already answered them. <laughs> Alright, cool, cool. Well, I guess that's it, man. I'll see you in a few days. Sounds good. <laughs> Thanks for calling. Thanks for the follow up. Of course. Peace. Bye. Well, cool. This is awesome. It was a 30 minute call. It shouldn't have been. It should have been like a 10, 15 minute call. I'll uh, edit this all down. But yeah, that's huge. Uh, this graph here is insane. This is kind of what you get with it. He said he was bouncing between C1, C2. And this is exactly what it was. He was down bad here. Peaked up, however, like I said, if you guys heard, didn't hear, I had coached somebody and they didn't put my effort uh, to use, unfortunately, is what it is. All right, peace.